Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you guys how to work with brands as a small YouTuber. Now these tips have worked for me, so I'm going to share them with you guys so you guys can start working with your fave brands and getting more collaboration, paid deals and everything like that. In this video, I'm going to share with you guys all about campaigns, contracts, how to prepare yourself to make yourself seem professional, to contact these brands, what to say, all about payments so we can avoid being scammed, what to look out for, and everything along those lines. So make sure you guys stay tuned and let's begin. Okay, so we're gonna start off the video on what to avoid when it comes to working with companies. I know a lot of us, when we first start getting subscribers and more views were like oh my god I want to work with companies I want to seem more legit and official so so when it comes to work with companies you want to avoid certain ones so there's two type of companies that you guys need to avoid so the first one are companies that tell you that we'll definitely work to, with you or we want to work with you however you need to buy the product for 50% off or buy the product fully and then we will reimburse you now that's a scam right off the bat and I wouldn't recommend any of you to work with companies like that because Whenever companies would like to work with you, they will actually send you the product for free and if you discuss payment, they will pay you on top of sending the product for free. Those type of companies that I would suggest that you guys avoid, they're gonna go ghost on you and they won't reimburse you. It hasn't happened to me before, but I've seen it happen to multiple people. So try to avoid that. And the second thing is a lot of these companies, they'll be like, hey, this is our first time working with you. So can we get the collaboration for free and, and the next time we work together, we'll pay you. That's a lie. <laughs> They're not gonna pay you the next time. They just want the free collaboration. They won't work with you ever again. So keep that in mind and avoid companies like that. Now, if you do not mind, when it comes to companies like that, if you don't mind getting free product in exchange for a video, promotion or an Instagram post promotion. There's nothing wrong with it. We all do it as a small YouTuber when we first start off. I've done it multiple times for clothing companies and tech companies. So it's just you have to figure out what is a win-win for you and your brand. And now I used to do it for tech companies because I'm getting gear that I, I was going to buy and I'm getting clothing that I was going to buy. So why not do that? Okay, so avoid those. Okay, and let's move on. All about emails. Now emails are really important for you to reach out to companies and for companies to contact you. So you want to create a simple, easy email that is just straight to the point. Okay, so my example for that would be basically, say if you have your email, try to avoid having like five S's or having the number zero in replace of an O. So you want to avoid smellycat2.34 <laughs> at gmail.com because when you have emails like that, number one, it makes you seem very unprofessional, but number two, there's a higher chance of people, when they're writing your email, they're going to make a mistake and then they won't be able to contact you. So what I would recommend is an example of an email contact at anishaadams.com or hello at anishaadams.com right so you want to create an email that's strictly for your content creation for your influencing just for your brand on social media because it just positions positions you as more professional and another main thing is that when you have an email that's strictly just for that all the emails that you get in that inbox you will know automatically that it's just for influencing content creation and that's very helpful when it comes to keeping you organized because you'll know whenever you get a notification oh a brand's going to want to work with me I've met people in the past that they're like oh I just used one email for my personal for my my company and for my social media influencing I was like how do you keep organized like that's no like huh how are you getting your dentist appointment reminder notification in your email and then someone wants to place an order and then on top of that a brand wants to contact you to do uh, promotion for their brand like it's just too much so I feel like always have separate emails okay now I use Gmail I would recommend everyone to use Gmail because their interface is very simple easy and user-friendly especially beginner user-friendly I just love their interface you can customize it to your liking are you subscribed to my channel yet <laughs> if not make sure you guys are subscribed and turn on the post notifications and make sure you guys click all you can consider this as a youtuber maybe maybe once you get much bigger you could definitely get this but this is all about P.O. boxes. So you can consider getting a P.O. box where you can get all your packages sent to. Now the reason why most people get P.O. boxes is just so, number one, for people to just not know where they live. So a P.O. box is private personal mailbox just for you at a post office, whichever post office you would like. And then they give you the address for that. Whoever wants to send you packages or mail, they just send it to that address there and it's not your home address. So people love doing it just to keep private so a lot of people don't know where they live. Smaller companies want to work with me or some of my subscribers have companies they want to work with me and I'd rather 
rather just give them the PO address instead of my personal home address. And then if you're in Jamaica, you can get a private letterbox at your local post office. You're going to have to apply for one and you should just go to your local post office and it'll give you more information on that. And number two is that it reduces you always having to type out your address to give someone. You can just put it in the description of your video. Okay, so that's something you guys can consider. There's a lot of things that goes into contacting companies. Like I feel like it's very difficult finding their emails to get in contact with whoever is responsible for public relations, social media marketing. This is why we hire managers to do this, but we can oftentimes get these emails. The first thing that you can try to do is go on LinkedIn. I, I once went on LinkedIn and I searched up like Tarte Cosmetics and I saw like the I saw the lady that was responsible for like social media marketing public relations and her email was right there I was like oh my gosh like this is it you'll find a lot of people on LinkedIn one thing that I would recommend you to do is avoid generic emails that you find on any company's websites or anything like that it mainly would be like info at blah 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 or customer service those are generic emails and you're not going to get a response you want the actual email that has like the person's name at, and then the brand's name after the at like it's usually like actual specific emails but number two but you can go on Instagram. Instagram DMs really, really works depending on the brand. Most brands will respond to you and then a lot more. So for Instagram, you're going to want to DM the brand that you want to work with. Just keep it simple, straight to the point. Just want to say hi, introduce yourself to so basically your name and what you do and why you're contacting them. Keep it like super short, like three sentences. I'm wondering if you would have the email for the person who's responsible for social media marketing, public relations, collabs, partnerships with influencers, whatever you would like to use. If the person who's running the Instagram account is like nice, and not pretentious and like very like oh, I only will respond to certain people they will respond like oh yeah here message Kathy at blah 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 and she should re respond I put 30 minutes away DMing finding brands and DMing them and then I use the next 30 minutes emailing if any of them responded from the previous day or the previous few hours I will do the emails and follow up with those brands okay and usually say I email 10 Brands, usually three or four will respond, which is actually really good. Sometimes even five out of the ten will, will respond. And at least you tried and you're and the brands are getting to know you. They're getting familiar with you, your name, your face. So that's really good. We got the email from the person in DM. Now we're gonna email them. Now we're I'm gonna share with you guys what we say in these emails because they're important. In the subject, you just wanna put your name X the brand. So Anisha Adams X. His, I think I said YouTube video. You want to try and avoid using the word collaboration. Of course they know it's a collaboration, so you want to be specific. What type of collaboration? So you want to take out the word collaboration, be specific on what you would like to do with them. In the body, you want to make it very short, straight to the point, simple, easy to read, and direct. When I first contact them, I was like, if I could get an, a specific name from the person, just say, hello, Kathy. Hi, my name is Anisha Adams. You're you, In the body, you're going to want to introduce yourself and what you do, who your audience is, um, where, they, where are they mainly located, say, Age group of my audience now every company you want to tailor what you're saying to that company based on their values and their mission because you want to share how your brand aligns with them and how they would benefit working with you okay so this is really important okay you have to try and sell it to them how they can benefit so again as I said you want to be specific on what you would like to do with the brand and how their product aligns with the vision that you want to create with their product okay and how it aligns with their mission and their vision as well right you would go on their website and read their about us to know their vision and what their mission is but also you want to look at their products like what product do you want to use so you guys would say basically something like I would love to work with you guys on your hair moisture product and your hair oil product I would love to work with you on these because I'm currently planning a winter hair care routine and I feel like your products would work very well in that video that I'm going to be creating so you want to you want to mix in their products with your vision instead of using the word collaboration you you're specifically telling them what you would like to do with what product and what you're planning on doing with them in the video and hey in this hair care routine I'll be showing them how they can do their hair at home at affordable cost it would be really good you're selling a vision you're selling a brand to these people and again guys you just have to finesse like every company is going to be different look at every brand mission statement as I said and values and try to cater your message your video that you're trying to think of to that brand and they will like it if, if the people who are reading the message actually is like nice and genuine and they have the time they will reach out and be like hey blah 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 great some of these companies they'll ignore you now they will ignore you now and then you're gonna see like in a few months when you've grown a little bit more or you got more views subscribers they're contacting you again like nothing happened like what okay so now we're going to talk about email templates email templates are so important to help you reduce the time that you spend on responding back to emails or even reaching out just to help you guys keep you organized and again reduce the amount of time that you spend on responding to emails okay i have two e email templates i have an email template when reaching out to brands and then i have an email template that when i'm responding back to companies that want 
have to work with me. Even though these email templates are generic, I always tweak the emails to work with each brand and work with each response, okay? So that's what you guys are going to want to do. Even though it's generic, you have to make it personalized so you don't sound like a robot when you're responding back to people because people are really what? I create an email template in my drafts of Gmail and then I just copy and paste it and send it off. I only include my, my media kit once the company asks for it. You don't have to, I don't think you should, you should just wait till the company asks for it. So I have a template, again, as I said, to work for brands, to respond back to brands, just like in the initial response, not like when we're further into the conversation. And I also have templates for pricing and for payment, how the company can go about paying me, paying me, and what are the what are the guidelines for payment, okay? Which we're going to talk about now. Payments, payments, payments. Avoid being scammed, avoid not getting paid, avoid getting paid 50 years later, okay? So when it comes to payment, if you take product for free, that is fine. Like free in exchange for promotion, that's fine. We all do it, especially as small YouTubers. I I did it a lot especially with clothing brands because I'm like hey I'm getting free clothes and swimmer I don't mind doing this so you will know when you would like to be paid with me I was fine taking it for a while and then I was like you know what I want to start getting paid I'm giving all these people promo it's a lot of work and I gained the experience so it's time for me to get paid so taking pro free product in exchange is really good for experience for you to see what you do like what you don't like what type of videos do you do like creating what type of videos you don't like creating next you want to create a PayPal if you don't already have a PayPal you want to use the same email that you used for your Gmail account just to keep everything on brand so much more easier to track things so paypal make a paypal account now the reason why i would recommend paypal is because paypal is really good to avoid you getting scammed okay because if anything happens you can always request a refund and paypal will give you a refund and if there's any dispute someone's not paying you paypal has you covered so i always recommend so paypal is also really good not only for that it's because it just helps you keep track so on your paypal account it'll help you keep organized on track on how many brands you worked with for the year how much money you made which will be good for just personal records or for taxes as well if you're paying taxes so when it comes to payment i want you guys to ensure that you receive a 50 percent deposit prior to starting the work okay because i feel like you need to get paid for your time and once you receive the 50 percent deposit it will show that these companies are actually seriously working with you i've seen companies trying to argue with me saying that they don't want to pay me the 50 percent deposit and this happened two times and these two companies didn't end up paying me once i the video was ready for me to send it off to them and i was like never again i love the experience because i learned again and i wouldn't recommend any of you guys doing it and that's why i'm trying to share this with you guys so companies literally will send a 50 percent deposit and there's some companies that will send the full amount they don't care they'll send the full amount and they'll just wait they'll wait for the content based on the guidelines that you guys both discussed so when companies are serious they'll send the money okay prior to agreeing to even wanting to work with them i always say hey you know what this is how my pay works do you agree with it? Is this something that is okay? And then once they say, yeah, then we move forward. Yeah, so the reason why I would emphasize you guys getting a 50% because again, because companies will make you do the work and, you'll, and they'll disappear or they'll try and pay you like six months later. Who's trying to, who's promoting you and then getting paid six months later? Don't do it. Do not do it. Once you get the 50% deposit, you start the work. Once the work is done, you upload the video private, well, unlisted on YouTube. Send the unlisted link to the person for them to approve. Once they approve it, then let them know, hey, the remaining amount is due. They pay you the remaining amount is due. You delete the video, you re-upload it, and then you make it live. Payment is very important, and I'm going to be talking about it a lot. Once I tell the company that the payment is due, I let them know that the payment has to be due immediately or as soon as possible. No content or nothing will be until payment is done. I don't give them no leeway. No, you will get scammed because once you promote them, you're, they're getting basically free promotion. What company will pay you for that? Like, oh, I don't have to pay them anymore. They already uploaded and 15,000 people saw it. 20,000 people saw it already. I don't need to pay them. What's the whole point of that? Even if they delete the video, 15 or 20,000 people saw it, and most likely you click the link in that two or three days so make sure that you're getting paid prior to posting i'm gonna say this again make sure you get paid prior to posting as time goes on you're going to need to learn how to say no it sounds so harsh and you're like man but i could be getting money or i'm having the hope of getting money you need to learn how to say no the reason why i'm telling you guys learn how to say no is because there's some companies that will try to pay you like six to eight months later like i told you i think it was i forgot one company it was it was either skillshare or one of those online e-learning platforms skillshare or it's not square space but it's like one of them i can't remember but they contacted me and they were going to pay me money and i was all for it right everything was fine until i said hey like i would need the 50 percent so on and they told me that they were going to pay me six months after so i would have to do the 10 videos first and then they'll pay me six months after i did those 10 videos and i was just like who what and i was like i was so confused i'm like so all these people that worked at this company they were getting paid months after doing all this promo i i just said no so you guys have to learn how to say no it's very important sometimes you have to walk away from some collaborations and partnerships <laughs> when it comes to contracts a lot of companies i think as i grew 
much bigger in my size on YouTube and I was working with much larger companies. Not all large companies use contracts, but most, most of them. You start getting more contracts that you have to read and fill out. Contracts are very important because these some of these brands are sneaky. <laughs> so we need to talk about this so you guys can avoid getting scammed or avoid getting overworked or avoid even getting paid less than what you guys agreed on. In the contract, you can state, they're going to state what they want from you, the guidelines, everything like that. And you can also create a contract to give them and state in the contract what you would like from the contract. A lot of people do it in their email, but I heard that it's not legally binding if even if the company agrees in the email, saying like, I do agree in the email, that emails don't work, that you actually need a contract that they're signing. When it comes to contracts, you want to make sure that you comb through the entire contract, read word for word, and you guys want to highlight the phrases, the paragraphs, the words that you don't understand and send it over and they'll clarify it. Make sure you understand everything and your everything is clarified, okay? Because this is what's going to avoid possible bad things from happening. So that's what I do. I've done it multiple times and it works. If you want things to change, they'll change it. The reason why you want to um, comb through it is because they'll hide things in it. They'll hide things in the contract. Like they'll say, if you don't post on the date but you post like three days later, we're going to pay you 50%. So you want to look through all these things and have things amended to change. Okay, so we've come to the end of this video. It's starting to rain. So it's time for me to go, but we I've covered everything in this video. And I'm going to link in this video similar videos that will help you with YouTube growth, with just positioning yourself as as an influencer, content creator on YouTube. I'm going to have the link for you guys to watch. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys liked it and I'll see you guys in my next one. Au revoir.